So today I'm talking about a P0068 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0068 code? Well, it's a MAF slash MAF throttle position correlation. And what does this mean? Well, the computer needs to know how much air is going into the engine and all the air should be going through the throttle body. And so to measure how much air is going into the engine, it uses different sensors. One sensor is called a MAP sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor. And this sensor basically just measures the pressure inside the manifold. And there can also be what's called a MAF sensor or mass airflow sensor. And basically this sensor is up by the intake air box and it'll just measure all the air going into the engine. And one thing about these sensors is there can be some variations on which sensors are being used. For example, sometimes there'll only be a mass airflow sensor. Then another vehicle will have a mass airflow sensor and a manifold absolute pressure sensor. And then some vehicles won't use a mass airflow sensor, but they'll use the manifold absolute pressure sensor along with other sensors like an intake air sensor or something like that. So it can be a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located on your engine just to know for sure what's going on. But basically keep in mind there can be some differences depending on the vehicle. And so what are some possible causes of a P0068 code? Well the first thing that can cause this is going to be a dirty throttle body. This is fairly common especially as the vehicle ages. If you go look at the throttle body and you look down inside of there and that butterfly plate looks all dirty, it's got a lot of buildup on it and things like this, this can throw off those sensors and just cause issues. And so quite often just cleaning up the throttle body can help clear things up. If it does look really dirty, you can get some throttle body air intake cleaner and basically just clean it up real good. You can even use like a little toothbrush or something like that and a rag and wipe it out and be sure it's all clean. One thing to mention is that if you do clean it up with throttle body cleaner, when you first start up the vehicle, it's gonna run bad for like one minute or so until all that cleaner gets burnt away. But after that, it should run better. But the first thing that could cause this is a dirty throttle body. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor. You have to get a diagram where it's located on your particular engine. But the next thing that could cause this is a manifold absolute pressure sensor. There's some different ways to go about testing that sensor. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Also keep in mind that if anything's wrong with the wiring going to any of these sensors, open, short, bad connection, it's gonna cause the same symptoms as that sensor. Another thing that could cause this is a bad intake air temperature sensor. And again, not all vehicles are going to have this, but some vehicles will use a manifold absolute pressure sensor and an intake air temperature sensor. And between these two sensors, the computer can calculate how much air is going into the engine. So be sure to look to see if you do have an intake air temperature sensor, since not all vehicles have one. But if you do, that's another thing that can cause this problem. The next thing on the list that could cause this problem is a bad mass airflow sensor. This sensor will be located up around the air intake box somewhere. And it basically just measures all the airflow that's going into the engine. Quite often a mass airflow sensor just gets dirty and just needs to be cleaned up. Of course, they can also fail and go bad and just need to be replaced. I made a video on how you go about testing the MAF sensor. I'll put a link down below if you need it. But the next thing on the list is going to be a bad mass airflow sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is going to be that there's a vacuum leak going on somewhere or an intake air leak. And basically when you have this issue, all the air should be going in through the throttle body. But if for some reason if the air is getting around this, if there's a bad hose or a bad gasket or something like that, then air is going to be going into the engine around the throttle body. And this can throw those sensors off and cause issues. There's some different methods for trying to find a vacuum leak. Some mechanics will start up the engine and then they'll use a spray. And wherever they think the leak's at, they'll go and spray the spray. And if the engine idle changes, then they know they found the leak. Another method is the smoke machine method, where you feed smoke into the air intake, and wherever the smoke comes out, you know you found the leak and you're able to fix it. So there's some different methods on trying to find a vacuum leak, but the next thing on the list is going to be a vacuum leak. And the last thing on the list that's going to cause this problem is going to be a bad throttle position sensor. But usually if the throttle position sensor goes bad, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0068 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.